Big thanks to the Legacy Student Section Cowboy theme for tonight. <laughs> Big crowds on hand during uh, football this week. And we get to our Class 11B matchups. And Luke, there's some heavyweight battles this week. Yeah, that's right. And it doesn't get any better than the Cold Bowl out in Hazen. That's what they play for, the league night football. Beulah has won six of the last ten of them. Second play from scrimmage for the Miners, and they go for gold. Trey Brandt, 58 yards to Trapper Skowski, and that puts Beulah up early. They'd force a fumble and get it right back from there on defense, and the Brandt to Skowski connection is just too good to be beat. Skowski right into your living room for six, and the Miners are rolling. Bison trying to find some offense of their own. A look over the middle, quarterback scrambling. How about a little tip drill? Brandt doing it on defense, too. The interception gives the Miners the ball, and they roll from there to a 48-13 win. Let's go out east. It's Kindred hosting Linton HMBSZ, the beginning of a tough region schedule for the Lions. Vikings quickly get it to a 14-0 lead as Max McQuillan hands the ball off to Trey Heinrich, who finds his way into the end zone. But the Lions would not back down. Later in the half, a nice response. Trace King able to find Joseph Fode. Wide open down the field, a little too late though for the Lions falling 49-14. Let's go up to Washburn, Southern McLean hosting a 2-0 Bowman County team. Bulldogs ahead after the half, 13-0. A big first down here on their first drive. Quade Lardy looking for a man, and look at the footwork from Roman Fossum staying in bounds. But the possession would stall on a big stop here. Landon Miller wreaking havoc in the backfield, and that forces the turnover on downs. But the Bulldogs bust one open in the third, Riggs Rottenberger breaking through the middle and nothing but green grass ahead. To the house, the Bulldogs get the win 27 to eight. Back in the capital city, we got Shiloh Christian taking on the Heart River Cougars. First quarter, Shiloh up two nothing already. Swing pass to Isaac Emmel, able to beat the edge and get to the end zone for the score. Eight nothing Skyhawks. Next Shiloh possession, Carter Seifert. The sophomore big man at QB taking it himself, able to follow his blocker and in for the score. 15-0 Shiloh still in the first. Skyhawks keep it rolling. Cypher looking for Isaac Herringer down the sideline. Knocked out inside the 10. Setting up another TD. Shiloh wins 47-12. to So those are some of the big games down south. But to bring us the rest of the highlights, we bring back Caressa and Adina the rest of the way. Phil and Luke, we have some high-stakes matchups up here in the north, including a, a look at a team who's trying to stay undefeated. But first... And a, at Stanley, Blue Jays hosting the Rugby Panthers. Blue Jays with the ball. Quarterback Cooper Dupre tries to escape the pressure here, but Dylan Barczyk gets the tackle for a loss of yards for the Panthers. Rugby now with the ball. Quarterback Eric Foster doesn't have any time to do anything with the ball before Dawson Anderson takes him down for the sack, big play by this senior for the Blue Jays. Stanley now with the ball. He hands it off to Ethan Shingler, Shingler Jensen, who finds a hole, and he gets a very nice gain for the Blue Jays before getting taken down. Rugby would go on to win this one, 38 to 14. The undefeated DLB Lakers hosting Bishop Ryan. The Lions in Lakers territory, Jet Lundin with the QB keeper up the middle. He finds some space on the outside and capitalizes on it. Touchdown, Lions. We pick this play up from a DLB fumble. Zach Hendrickson scoops it up and takes off down the sideline. And that's going to be another Lions touchdown. Lakers down now 14 to nothing. The high snap, handoff to Caleb Rist up the middle. He misses not one, not two, but four tackles and makes the end of the end zone with two Lions hanging off on him to put six on the board. The Lions knock off the Lakers, getting the 34 